But the top two of this group, and the group is all four players that you see in the lobby, will be advancing to a final group to try and work their way into qualifying for solo queue. And the solo queue main event will be tomorrow. I think we're going to be helping out with that as well. So we have Andy and Wavy versus Gyro and Knight. They're going to play three games no matter what with each other as teammates. And then we will shift to new teams. Another three games. We'll do that until everybody has played a part of every team. In the process, keeping track of who wins what games. And whoever wins the most, the two players who win the most games, those will be the two that advance. And the tiebreakers go mostly to game differential, I think, first. If everything else is all the way tied down to the wire, then it uses goals plus assists as a final tiebreaker. Oh, the pre-jumps. Wait, he's got it. He's got it. Camp, no! <laughs> Another opportunity for the fellas. Oh, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Kemp's, play, Kemp's doing a little something out here. It's the flip reset off the belly with the... Oh, my God. He's kind of clean. That's a great play from Toasty. No way. <laughs> Gets two to commit. 20 seconds left. Just has them both flying. Wikipedia is the one site people use. So if it's not on Wikipedia, it probably won't be anywhere. That's a great touch from Cosmic. Oh, he's playing. Uh oh, Kemp's in a. <laughs> Just a really bad spot. Oh, no way. Actually, able to get the save. Kemp. Oh, it's a great first touch. And it's an even better finish. Look at him go. The machine. First flick is nice. Kep, can he get the second? The air dribble cringe. It's crucial. It's deadly. It's Kepner. Not lying to us like normal. I'm not lying. I'm not a liar. Oh, that's so close. That's a great shot. Oh, it's just barely off. It's a kneel to the sidewall. This one off the backboard. Zaniel doesn't have boost to work with, and he's left Kep in a really bad spot. Cosmic with the air dribble. One versus one, and Cosmic able to make it count. Kep couldn't get around it. Zaniel makes contact, and now Cosmic will take control. Will he be able to get the 1v1 going? Oh, it's a great fake, but Zaniel is still there. The slow shot, not enough. Zaniel with a nice shot. Kep is there. Oh, and it's not in. They need the follow-up, and they'll get it. Kep able to tap it in. Let's see if we see any kickoff tomfoolery. That's a great start. Zaniel with a lob shot. It's off the post. And it's not going to be in. Zaniel has to keep playing. <laughs> he couldn't read it off the post. Banger idea. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Zaniel aggressively goes for that ball. And he's going to get rewarded. Toasty with a nice 50. Cosmic will take control. Again, they need to take this game for Cosmic to stay alive in this one. It's a great play from Kep. Zaniel with the cutoff to the backboard. Does he have two? He will. Toasty can't get the save. And Kepner realizing he might have to go to a game nine. Tears rolling down his face. Let me out. Let's see. I'm just waiting for this 50-50 to end up in Kep's net. That's a great pass. Toasty's there, but he misses. No way. Toasty's there again. Kep can't get it over Cosmic. Cosmic over one. And Kep with a huge save. But here comes Zaniel with the follow-up. Cosmic's here again. <laughs> it doesn't go in. Toasty. Can he save Kepner? No, he can't. On Kep and Cosmic will try to control. Zaniel can't get out of the way. It's a mess in the backfield. Toasty goes for a bump. Can he take the shot too? He can. He can do it. Toasty will guarantee his placement in this one. And now Cosmic can't win two games. Oh my goodness, Frosty. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, dude. Why is it not? There we go. Woo, Frosty's looking good. Pinch rather, trying to get something going. There's a, oh my gosh, Flitz is up. <laughs> Sosa could have saved that. The ceiling pinch. Oh, that's got to sting. Magic Bear. Oh my gosh, Magic Bear. Blitz was so 
surprised. Over to this side, 50s it past Flitz. Flitz getting a bump on Magic Bear. Magic Bear jumping back for the ball. Flitz is out of boost and out of the play. And now he's gonna be out of the action as he watches the replay from the orange perspective. Flitz out of boost. Frosty though, shot's gonna be off target. That could have been the game. You can see Frosty with the quick chat. Knew he should have had that one. And there, a Frosty. Now has made it a one goal game. Oh, hold on a second. The pie in the sky. Oh, saved by Sosa. Sosa awkward on the ball. Magic Bear barred down and it's gonna be saved once, but not saved twice. Frosty going for the double and Frosty. That was clean. Fat ad. I think OBS gives you a warning. I hope, I'd hope so. Really nice touch from Flitz to get up and over that challenge, but Magic Bear comes in and low, shoots it low over, or under rather, Sosa, as we'll see from Sosa's perspective. It's a boom. Yeah, that's gonna be really tough for Flitz to stop. Magic Bear lets it bounce. Goes for the air dribble, cringe. Oh, now it's a Flitz Sosa 1v1. Flitz going for the low 50. And now it's saved by Frosty. And will this be a counter attack goal? It will be, oh my gosh. 40 boost. Delayed flip, I love that play from Magic Bear. Couldn't bump Sosa, but Flitz is there to drive it home. Great shot from Flitz. And that last little, that late flip from Magic Bear to throw Frosty off the read. That was something else. So now we know for certain that Magic Bear is going to the next round. So, so we'll launch this downfield. This is gonna be a wide open net, easy goal for Frosty. Magic Bear on the dribble. Blitz, oh my gosh, they get it back. Getting it past one. Bumping the last defender off the ball. Magic Bear made up for that mistake. And now Magic Bear. Oh, it's a go ahead goal. What? Wow. Oh, there's a stop. And that's a weak shot. And Sosa doesn't make the most out of the rebound. That was the moment, though. Definitely needed every point. Oh my gosh, oh no! Oh, and there's a pitch, what is that? We have seen some weird goals. We have seen some weird goals today. Oh, oh! There you go, okay, hold on, hold on. It's not over. It's not over yet. Who knows? Oh my gosh, and that's gonna be it. And with that game, we got uh, Magic Bear and Frosty closing it out. Quite a few, I mean, it is, it is fairly common to need those games to break you apart. What a flick from Wavy. I'm not sure I saw any other salty games either. Andy, a chase down. Wait, that's actually a double demo. I think either Gyro or Knight demoed Wavy, but then own gold it. Andy got Knights and Gyro got Wavy, but <laughs> it's a goal for the blue team. So Wavy, you guys probably have the most chances of knowing. He's been playing well in Salt Mine, top ones player, and he's popping off in the moment we decide to talk about him. Uh, but most recently, a team member of Rogue, well, I lagged her a little bit. I don't know if they lagged. But well, I got some serious lag as that double demo happened. Gyro found Wavy and Knight shot on open net, both in the same location on that side wall. Wavy good call to make that not the case anymore by turning and challenging. Somebody needs to be on ball. Bumped by Gyro. He might have slightly delayed the goal. Wavy won the beat, air dribble, reset. Andy just barely gets the save. Oh wow, that was actually a really solid recovery. Andy, what a read. Wow, what a team play. As these guys reset, boost advantage definitely in favor of the blue team. Wavy wanted to do him dirty with a fake. 
The demo. Will be followed up. <laughs> An attempted steal there. Wavy is looking really good. I think a lot of people are starting to hop on the wavy train. Oh. <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> Listen, I still stand by what I said, <laughs> okay? Just because he owned gold doesn't change that. As he does exactly that, everyone bouncing off each other here in the blue half. Wavy's gonna launch the ball to get a big clear. Knight misses, Wavy going top right. Wavy scores all by himself. And Wavy saw some, oh my goodness, an own goal. Basically an own goal. If he tried to go quickly, Wavy has just Andy now. This 50 is kept away. What a save. Wait. Oh, no. Interception. Gyro is going to find Wavy on the other side of the field. This one to the backboard. Andy in and out of the net. Can't stop the double from Gyro. He goes high first, then low, and leaves it off for Wavy. And it'll be a three-way tie that will then go down to, you know, all the different tiebreakers. What a double from Gyro. Wavy gets it past Knights. Who was trying to slow down this play. Nice interception. Demo, that net is open. Wavy shot high. Andy miss Knights finish. And with 11 seconds, Knight ties it up. Gets the set up an attacking ball. Launching to the top shelf. Two defenders up. Now he's going to go make some chaos. Wavy actually slots it. And Wavy will be advancing as he refuses to lose a win in overtime means now at best everyone else in the lobby can get five wins Knight reset backward double oh my goodness Knight I'm telling you if you're on Wavy's team all of a sudden you start popping off but Knight did this all by himself let's get that clear as he lobs one up to the backboard and a cut directly at Gyro Wavy has a double the demo guarantees it and push it out away from their control over the top where they have a defender waiting. Now, of course, in ones as Andy sauces up a double. Wavy helps him score it to put Andy and Gyro on the board. So that is Knight. Wavy, are you serious? Oh, he stole it. <laughs> he stole it from Gyro. <laughs> the tiebreakers. I forgot. The tiebreakers. Andy wanted to steal the double. Or Gyro wanted to steal the double from Andy. A Knight and Wavy victory. Gyro has just wavy in net. Andy's going to be creeping up field trying to steal it for sure. <laughs> he couldn't. <laughs> he tried to. I, I swear he wasn't even looking. Yeah, this is this is Andy POV. <laughs> Andy's just trying to get up there and steal it. He was not trying to bump wavy. <laughs> I swear Andy just cut off Gyro's play. Make sure he couldn't score. Free flip. That's going to hit the ground. All right, Wavy and Knight win another one. Wavy wins all but one game. Wait, here it is. All right, we got Wavy with the win. Andy and Gyro at 14 goals apiece, six assists to five. Oh my goodness, it was close. This is to qualify for the main event that will be taking place tomorrow at 5 p.m. Uh, oh, that one came really close and it's it's insane how stacked it is hold on as we watch magic bear just take heads left and right magic bear popping up for lion blaze lion blaze went for a bump attempt out of the air didn't land it went right over to lion blaze and there's going to be a demo another open net if lion blaze can pass it down no he doesn't even need to he's just going to finish the job himself as the ball wraps around the corner Frosty and Hoxer both go. Frosty was cooking. Hoxer went back down to the ground, but was not in position to make the most of the rebound. Good mechanics by Frosty. And there's a beat by Hoxer, open net. And that is a nice play from Hoxer. And there's a miss from Lion Blaze. Hoxer flip reset, and I love this as well. Hoxer trying to be as unpredictable as possible. Huge pass over to Magic Bear. Magic Bear belts it. Double commit as well. You can see how awkward of a position they find themselves in, but that extra little touch from Hoxer. And that's going to result in a goal. It might backfire. And that looks to a backfire. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that is not how you write that up. That is so unlucky. If Frosty spawns on the other side, it doesn't go in. Like, Magic Bear can't score from that angle. Solo play. Yes. Oh, baby, Hoxer. Magic Bear. Oh, baby, what a play. Feed the bear. First, he, he lets it bounce off the wall, fakes the air dribble, you know, and then he's, you know, a very well disguised flip reset. That was a great shot from Magic Bear. That was so good. And, ooh, Frosty! Oh, that was very bold from Lion Blaze. Lion Blaze solo play! Oh, Hoxer steps and beats Magic Bear. Hoxer, we're gonna watch that from his perspective. Hoxer is so quick. Look how far away he beats Magic Bear. Perfect read off the arc. Frosty can't get there. Now he's been incredible. Not the best touch there, and still it's going to be saved by Lion Blaze. Off the wall, leaves it for Hoxer, but Hoxer had jumped. Hoxer getting out of position. This was confusion by Lion Blaze and Hoxer. It's a good setup for Hoxer. Hoxer. Oh, Hoxer. I see you. Perfect slot. Frosty saw it coming. Now Frosty a chance to score. Block from Hawks for rebound. Punched in. And that will be the equalizing goal. Magic Bear. Does he have enough boost to get the job done? Rebound to Frosty. He doesn't need boost. He's got Frosty. Oh, Hawks are. He missed the boost as well. Had to go back to his own corner, but that gives Frosty the boost. And oh, what does Frosty do with it? He commits homicide. Oh, and that could be huge for tiebreakers. Lion Blaze with an insane angle as well. Look at this stinking angle. Look at this angle. Oh my gosh, that was actually crazy. So we are moving on to our final game of the closed qualifier. Magic Bear and Frosty have moved ahead. Lion Blaze needs to get this one game win. That's now for Hoxer. Frosty put it right back out to him and Lion Blaze couldn't find the slot. Lion Blaze with a little wiggle gets Magic Bear off his trail. Look at this little wiggle right here. Watch this, right there. Fakes Magic Bear off the ball. Now Hawks are in a dire situation. What do you do? Frosty. <gasps> Frosty denied by Hawks are huge defensive stop. Hawks are has to be very careful here. Leaves this for Lion Blaze. Lion Blaze the tip. It's in. Lion Blaze tips it around Frosty. Oh my golly gee. Hoxer gets it by him. Hoxer to Lion Blaze. Oh. There's the shot. Frosty out to the side. It's over pass over to Hoxer. Lion Blaze with a chance to get one more. Denied. We'll get the assist potentially if this goes in. No, he leaves it. Frosty, oh, he keeps it up. Oh, but that's going to be game, set, and match. 26 for Lion Blaze. Oh, he missed by one. You're right, it was Frosty. He was down by one from Frosty. Oh, my gosh. Now he'll start taking it the other way. Andy on defense. Does he have any help? Off the backboard, Toasty. Can't find the angle. Now Wavy. Andy with a free ball. This is a great 50 from Wavy, but Toasty's there for the shot. It's not on target. Wait, Wavy needs to get in the way. He needs to stall out a little more. This net open for just a second. That's a huge bump. Andy just with a little tap in, but lobs it up. They are still up three. Will they try to tack on another goal here? They will. Andy able to solo it. <laughs> just the most insane casting clip you've ever seen. Toasty off his own backboard. 
Zanil will have a chance with full boost and a lot of space. It's 50 away. Andy able to put it away. It's a great tap in. Both teams having a tough time getting control of a ball. Wavy with a great opportunity, though. This is the best look we've seen in quite a bit. Oh, is anybody there? Toasty didn't go. Barely awake for half the day. I, to be fair, I was exhausted from Thanksgiving. Oh, Andy again. Oh, it's a great flipper set. It seemed like it was just out of nowhere. Solid first touch from Zanil. And you blink. It's in your net. I think it's because he got he got like a little bit of a flick on that too. I don't think it was just one initial touch. No way. Another one? Oh, brother. Oh, the angle. What? Zanil's just there. Look at this touch from Wavy, though. Straight to the back with the light touch to keep that in the perfect spot. And Zanil is ready and waiting for the follow-up. But he did go one for seven. And that counts for something. What what win rate is that? It's like, uh, I'm going to guess, it's like a 14% win rate? 15%? One for seven? What is that? Is that right? 14% win rate. Wavy again. He's so good at creating space for himself. Look at this guy. Good challenge from Wavy. Oh, awkward spot though. Andy couldn't put it away. Probably the best look they've gotten all game. But it seems basically taking turns with the ball. Oh, this is a huge demo. Is it enough for Zanil to wrap around and put it away? Oh, this is a great chance for Zanil. That's a great fake. Oh, my God. I really appreciate that. Can we get that guy banned from Liquipedia? That fraud? I'm learning Liquipedia. I'm going to be the number one volunteer. Okay, honestly, there's too much going on on that page. I don't know what's happening. Let's watch, let's watch the games. <laughs> I tap in to give you the worst view of the double tap imaginable. <laughs> Wavy. All the way to the skies. Through the backboard and in. Do or die for Zanil. A win here, here will secure it. A loss will give it to Andy and Wavy. They're fighting for the for them. The duo to make it through. Zanil. MJ flu game. Both players back on defense. Zanil with a pre-jump. And he keeps it close. Toasty in an awkward spot. He needs to make a save. He won't make contact. Zanil with a weak save and Wavy. Top lefties. Oh, Zanil! No way! Oh, I can't believe it. Now Zanil's getting chased on the other end. And Toasty couldn't get the save. He was so close. How did that not go in? Oh, pretty good placement there from Toasty. It's not enough. Zanil, can he hit it to the left side? The lob up. Toasty will be up for it. And oh, <laughs> no! You can't leave! You can't do that. Oh, brother. Are you serious? Well, Zanil was fighting for his own life there. And unfortunately, he's had enough. Toasty says GG's. I believe this uh, would count as a forfeit. It is going to be Magic Bear and Frosty. So Magic Bear, Frosty, Wavy, and Andy make it through. They'll be playing in tomorrow's main event. They'll be joining Ray's Bull, Garrett G, Beast Mode, Part, First Killer, Evo, Mist, Chronic, CRR, LJ, apparently Jack, and Two Piece for tomorrow's main event. Thank you everybody for sticking around. I'm gonna run ads and then I'll probably throw everybody over to, to another Rocket League stream. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later.